Welcome back. The queen really knows how to celebrate her birthday in style. She took part in a parade known as Trooping the Color. The queen turned 92 in April, but this is the official public event and the crowd went wild when Prince Harry and his new bride, of course, the Duke and Duchess of Sussex arrived. Most of the royals attended with the exception of Prince Philip. The military parade featured 1,400 soldiers, hundreds of horses and musicians. And it wrapped up with a fly past by the Royal Air Force. For more on this, we are joined by CTV's Royal commentator, Richard Berthelsen, joining us from Toronto. Always great to see you, Richard. You too, Erin. So what stuck out for you in this year's celebration? Well, you know, each and every year there's some new aspect about the royal family, a new member or someone who's maybe not participating anymore because of ill health. Of course, we didn't see the Duke of Edinburgh this year for one of the first times in his life because of his retirement that he announced last year. And also, we also noticed, of course, the arrival of the Duchess of Sussex, that is the former Meghan Markle, who everyone was looking forward to seeing. So, I mean, these were kind of milestone events in the royal family. Uh, that I think a lot of people were looking forward to seeing. And, of course, the great balcony appearance by, you know, 60 or 70 members of the royal family at the end really gets a chance for people who know the royal family really uh, closely, the lineage and the genealogy, to kind of see, see all the people as they're growing up. And, of course, certainly the young children, Prince George and Prince Charlotte, always are of interest to people in terms of how they behave on the balcony. Uh, but we didn't see Prince Louis. We didn't see Prince Louis. I wondered if he might be brought out in his mother's arms, but I think he's just a little bit too young for, for that. But we certainly saw Prince George, you know, up to semantics with his cousin Savannah Phillips, the, the uh, daughter and, uh, of uh, Mark, or Peter Phillips, rather, and his wife, Autumn Kelly, who's actually from Montreal, and mm -hmm. of course, Princess Charlotte, who always likes to wave. She absolutely <laughs> knows how to behave from an incredibly young age. So it's a great family moment. The Queen sees it as a great family affair. She's really beaming when she's on that balcony with all the members of the royal family at the end, and she loves it. And, um, you know, it was a, it's a great ceremony for those that have had a chance to see it in London. I mean, it truly is absolutely stunning perfection in terms of the way it's orchestrated although today i understand a little fox ran through horse guards parade which is absolutely <laughs> astonishing in central london that a fox would make an appearance at the queen's birthday parade but there's <laughs> always something it. quirky yeah exactly <laughs> yeah it's such an incredible venue too, horse guards parade i know i was there during the london olympics and it's so stunning it's got such history to it yeah, it really does. It's a really central part of London and so many royal histories. I mean, this ceremony has been going on there probably for about 270 years, 70, 270 years. And it's been really going on for the sovereign's birthday for about 200 of those years. And so over, over the last 100 years uh, since King Edward VII, this event has always been in June, notwithstanding when the, the sovereign's birthday actually is because it's better weather. Uh, yeah, that makes sense, of course, in London. Uh, you mentioned the Duke of Edinburgh. He's not there, of course, retiring from pu the public eye. But his birthday is tomorrow. Are there any celebrations plan planned for him? Well, there'll be private celebrations. Uh, there are occasions in history when the Queen's official birthday and his birthday have been the same day. And so, believe it or not, they actually double all the gun salutes. So huh. there would have been a 42-gun salute in uh, Green Park or Hyde Park today and 62 at the Tower of London. Those would have been doubled if today was also his birthday. So there'll be another round of salutes in uh, Hyde Park and also at the Tower of London to mark the 97th of birthday for the Duke of Edinburgh, really, it's an incredible number. Now, a lot of people were really pleased to see him at the royal wedding a few weeks ago, looking, you know, kind of fit as a fiddle. Very thin, but, you know, he got in and out of that car like he always has. So he's clearly made a decision he's going to retire from these kind of set-piece engagements. I think it made the Queen look a little poignantly sat alone mm -hmm. in her carriage going to the event, but we really have to get used to that look. She is supported by this very large family, but we do miss the Duke of Edinburgh on occasions like this. And I'm sure he was sitting at home, maybe uh, watching television or watching them all on, and on the ceremony. And we'll have some notes for the regiments before. He used to be <laughs> Colonel of the Grenadier Guards. He's passed that on to the Duke of York, that is right. Prince Andrew, who rode this year for the first time in the ceremony. So we really see a transition in the royal family with new members like Meghan Markle, as Duchess of Sussex, and the Duke of York taking the Duke of Edinburgh's place. CTV Royal Commentator Richard Berthelsen, always great to have you on our program. Thanks for this. Thanks, Erin.